Hi guys, in the continuation of providing solutions for the exam, so yes and net, and this is question part C, unit one, question number sixty one, and booklet A. See, this is a question, very fundamental question of sequences. If you are deep second year student, you may remember this is our eleventh example of our booklet. See, the question says, it is given a recurrence relation. Where first term, second term are given, and for three onward, the terms are defined by this relation, and then the options about the nature of this sequence, whether it is monotonic or not, Cauchy or not, or convergent or not. See how to start this question. Just the first thought which come in our mind is this: the term R, arithmetic mean of previous two terms, that is. X three equal to x one plus x two upon two, and as x one is not equal to x two, given means x three lies between x one and x two. Hence, this option is not possible. Sequence is not monotonic. Then, now the other options are. Dependent options. See, these two are either this or this can be option. Either this or this can be option, or none of them. But these two together cannot be option. This is part C. So in this question, there are more than one correct. Now, if this is correct, the sequence must have limit. A sequence is Cauchy if and only if it is convergent, or sequence is convergent if and only if it is Cauchy by triple C. Now let us see whether the sequence is convergent or not. Given this, now similarly, x1, x3, x4, x2. The term x4 is arithmetic mean of x3 and x2. It should be here. Similarly, if we keep on going like this, it is x1, x3, x5, and so on, x6, x4, x2. Now we can see this is sequence. Certainly, it is not monotonic. First op option is discarded. Now. If I take these two separate subsequences, these are complementary subsequences. See x1, x3 odd term in this fashion, and this is what even terms. So we have two complementary subsequences which are monotonic. Sequence itself is not monotonic. But the complementary sequences are monotonic. Since all the terms lie between x1 and x2, the sequence itself is bounded. Hence, these two subsequences are bounded. Every subsequence of a bounded sequence is bounded. So these two are bounded. These two are monotonic. So these two are convergent. Here I am just removing this. Should I? now you can see the question the inset here we have got two subsequences which are monotonic this is odd subsequence is increasing and even subsequence decreasing so let limit x2 n equal to l limit x2 n minus 1 equal to l prime now given x n 2 n equal to x 2 n minus 1 upon 2 plus x 2 n minus 2 upon 2. So taking limit both side, this is subsequence. This is subsequence. This is subsequence of this. So limit x 2 n is equal to 1 upon 2. Limit x 2 n minus 1 plus 1 upon 2. Limit x 2 n minus 2. So this gives you L for even L for even and L prime for odd. So it gives you L equal to one upon two L prime plus one upon two L. Hence L equal to L prime. 
so the conclusions this sequence the sequence given by i write again x n equal to x n minus 1 x plus n minus 2 upon 2 has two complementary subsequence which are converging to same limit hence sequence is convergent since sequence is convergent it is Cauchy so third option is correct now what about the limit of these two this sequence now let us find limit given x n equal to 1 upon 2 x n minus 1 this implies x3 equal to 1 upon 2 x1 plus 1 upon 2 x2 x4 equal to 1 upon 2 x2 plus 1 upon 2 x3 and so on x n equal to 1 upon 2 x n minus 1 plus x n minus 2. Adding the sequence vertically, what we get? x3 plus x4 and so on xn is equal to 1 upon 2 x1 plus x2 plus x3 and so on 1 upon 2. See here, it is of the form 1 upon 2 x n minus 1 rather n minus 2 plus 1 upon 2 x n minus 1 and this gives us x 1 upon 2 x n minus 1 is equal plus x n is equal to 1 upon 2 x 1 plus x 2. Now taking limit n tends to infinity we have 1 upon 2 l plus l equal to x 1 plus 2 x 2 upon 2 this implies 3 l upon 2 equal to x 1 plus 2 x 2 upon 2 and hence finally we have l equal to 1 upon 3 x 1 plus 2 x 2 given x 1 equal to 0 x 2 equal to 1 so l equal to 2 y 3 so option 4 is correct so the, in this example a sequence was given in terms of reconciliation and then they were asking the nature whether it is monotonic or not convergent or not and if it is convergent what is limit so here we have obtained limit as 2 by 3 which implies sequence of course sequence is convergent we have proved by the fundamental concept if a sequence is convergent it is implied and implied by it has a complementary subsequence which are converging to same limit that we have proved for this example we have proved the subsequence of odd term and of even term they are convergent because they are monotonic and bounded and they converge to same limit so the sequence itself is convergent so the option 3 is correct because every Cauchy sequence is convergent and conversely and then we have obtained the limit which is equal to 2 by 3 so answer so finally answer are answers are 3 and Thank you. We will come for second another question very soon. Thank you very much.